Good afternoon. <laughs> um, just want to have a talk about uh, our Kama experience here at Kasamui. Um, and probably first thing is uh, the Thailand Pass. Um, obtaining a Thailand Pass from Australia, um, I had a bit of trouble. Uh, Narelle was, when we put the, we got our travel agents to put our Thailand passes through, or apply for them for us, and um, Narelle's was uh, accepted, but mine was rejected. We couldn't work out really what was going on there, but we contacted the, um, the Karma group at, um, in Koh Samui, and, Bali. or in Bali, and uh, they put our, applied for our Karma Pass, for my Karma Pass, and there was no drama, it went through okay, and uh, we got it. So we, what happened was we contacted the Bali head office, who was Jess uh, Whitcross, and I'll be honest, without Jess, time and time again, she's helped us amazingly. Um, she contacted Sebastian, who is um, the manager for Kosamui, um, Karma Aspara, and within a day, everything was rectified, and John's pass came through, thank goodness, because we actually got to the point we thought, um, we're not coming to Thailand. <laughs> we were getting a little worried. But that all was rectified within um, just a day, and, and Sebastian sorted it out and had it ready for John. So, um, and John missed that where John and Narelle, and we've been with Karma for 10 years. I suppose the next point was um, arriving in, um, in Bangkok, uh, we then were then um, ushered through to, uh, through immigration, etc., and uh, straight on to a domestic flight over here to Koh Samui. So that went rather well. Um, then we got to Koh Samui, uh, had to go through immigration again, but that was fairly fairly quick. Um, obviously, there was a lot of people getting off the flight and there was a little bit of a hold up because of um, uh, going through all the COVID checks and stuff like that again through your uh, Thai pass. But then um, on the way through we just we had to do another PCR, another PCR test. Uh, that was quite quick through that. Uh, then uh, picked up by the transport uh, to bring us here to um, Karma, Aspara. So one of the things that John actually missed was we had to have a PCR in Australia before we could even get on a flight. So if you're an Australian coming to Thailand, just be prepared that at the moment, the Australian government still requires you to have a PCR test 72 hours before you get on a flight. And when we got to Bangkok, it was actually so amazing. They had little ladies standing everywhere with a sign saying Koh Samui, didn't they? Like, we didn't have to think about it because we had actually discussed it before we got off the flight and went, how are we going to do this? And we walked out the gate and here's a lady standing there with a sign ready and waiting for us. So that made life so much easier. I will admit we weren't quite prepared for when we arrived here at Koh Samui, we didn't realise that we were going to get another test until we got a little bit out of immigration. Um, and it was fine, it worked very quick, wasn't it? It would have been like less than, less than five minutes in. And they had done the PCR test. Um, and we were with here with waiting, um, with the team waiting for us at the doorstep. And we were the only ones uh, when we arrived and now it's filling up beautifully. So since we've arrived, um, our room is amazing. Um, we have just been quite blown away with the size of the room that we have. We have a two bedroom unit, so we've been very, very, um, feel very spoiled. I'm very happy with that. Lots of space, great views. The location of the resort is, is really good. It's, uh, it's a little bit back from the beach. Um, it's, uh, so you've got to either take a shuttle or you get a motorbike and you, you go down to the beach. But the views from up here are fantastic. Um, the staff have been 
wonderful. Uh, because we were the only two here, so we had everybody to ourselves anyway. So they've done a really good job. Um, the weather since we've been here, <laughs> the first day I think it was uh, it was okay. The rest of it is there was about three four days of rain, um, but. In between all the, the storms and the showers and stuff like that, we've been able to get out, travel around, and the guys here have been shuttling us around wherever we want to go. So, uh, once again, they've been really good, uh, taking us wherever we want to, wherever we want to go to. Uh, showed us a few restaurants to go to, which are really nice. Um, and the restaurant here and the staff in the restaurant have been really good as well. And you can see that Koh Samui, like so many other um, countries, have done it quite difficultly during COVID. But, like Thailand does time and time again, they're back to it and they are resourceful and they just look at something head on and go for it. So coming to Thailand is one of the best decisions that we could have made um, for our first travelling trip outside of Australia. You can just see that they just want to get back to the lifestyle that they had um, and it will take a little while but I think that they will get back to it and maybe it won't be like it was before but I think they will look at it as this is going to be better. So everybody get on the travel wagon and mm. come to Kama Aspara and join Sebastian and Jeff for a free beer at the bar. <laughs> Thank you.